everyone. This is Amy with Just Please This Punch, and I've got another cute Halloween project for you today. This project is um, featuring the new Sweet Home stamp set in the um, new holiday catalog from Stampin' Up. We are going to be using the little ghost stamp and then the coordinating um, framelit that comes with it. This is a large stamp set that has um, tons of framelits. You can make the cutest little houses with it. Um, and if you buy the frame set, or framelit set, and the stamp set together, you save 10%. So that's a great deal right now. Um, we've also got some of the new uh, Baker's Twine from the Holiday Catalog that coordinates with all the Halloween stuff. We've got some um, basic black archival ink, some fast fuse. Um, we're going to be using some glue dots and some dimensionals and um, our treat bags are gonna be made using the two by eight cellophane bags that Stampin' Up! sells. We also are gonna be using our clear Wink of Stella and then um, got some of uh, the DSP. This piece of DSP, what I did was I cut out one of the houses. Um, this is the pack of DSP that comes in the holiday catalog, it's called Halloween night specialty designer series paper. And there is a sheet in here that has um, the little haunted houses on it. And if I can pull this out for you, I'll show you. Um, there are 20 houses on one sheet. So this is the sheet. And basically I just cut along underneath the house um, you know, kind of in rows, and then I just cut each house out. And that piece needs to measure two inches square. So you basically just wanna cut your little houses out and make sure that they're centered on a two inch square, um, in a two inch square size, which is what this one is. Okay, so this is our basic black, um, cut at two and a quarter by four and a half and scored at two and a quarter. And then we've got um, a piece of pumpkin pie, and this is um, one and a half by seven and a half, and then just a scrap piece of Whisper White to do our stamping on. And the chocolate, I didn't even show you the project. This is the little project. Um, super cute little treat bag. I just love this. I found these Dove chocolates at my local Target, and when I saw them, I just knew that they'd be perfect. The little ghosts would be perfect with this stamp set. So I picked up some of those. Um, what happened was when I went to slide the chocolates in, they um, were trying to kind of flip around, not be, you know, lined up like I wanted them to be. So I found that if I put the piece of cardstock in behind them, that they stayed in place. So that kind of pulled it all together for me. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to go ahead and stamp our little ghost. So I've got him right here. And I'm just going to stamp him in some basic black. And we'll go ahead and get him cut out. I've got my big shot and the little framelit. This is the little ghost framelit. And I'm just going to put that on here. Get that lined up without getting my head in the camera. There we go, and put my top plate on, and just run that through. All right, there we go, and he just pops right out of there. Okay, so then we've got our little treat bag, and I'm gonna go ahead and slide my piece of cardstock down in here. And then this fits five chocolates, so I'll just start kind of putting those in here. I just thought these were so cute when I saw them. They've got so many neat little Halloween candies out right now already. Okay, let me get those down in there. Okay, and then our piece of basic black, and I'm just gonna fold that on the score line. And Just fold that over like so. 
and then I'm gonna just staple that and the staple won't show because we're gonna put our little piece of DSP right over that. right there all right and then we need our dimensionals pop a dimensional on our little ghost and put him right there isn't that cute and then a little bit of Wink Estella just thought that the ghost could use a little sparkle to make him extra cute I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very well on camera but it does make him super sparkly. I can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll try to show you some of the sparkle on there. Okay, and then last of all, we're gonna do a little bow. And I've just got some of that Baker's twine, and I, I usually double it over just because I like the look of that better. And I'm just going to tie a little bow here. Make sure I've got my sides even. There we go. Snip the bottom of those. Whoops. All right. And best way to get this to stick is with a glue dot. And just add that like so. Isn't that cute? I just love this little treat bag and it's so simple to make. Here's a couple others that I made. Um, this one I used some old olive because I thought that's a good color for Halloween as well. Um, but that's it. Those are super simple, and I really, really love everything in this holiday catalog, so please hop over to my blog and check it out, and thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.